This video is to remove an M2, a Leica M2 top plate, um, and to show you how that looks inside. This is a, a, a Leica M2, the vulcanite's been removed because uh, it was chipping away. We're going to go ahead and remove the top plate. Uh, Leica M2s, M3s, M4s usually had a uh, wax seal right there uh, to hold the top plate in place. Uh, this one doesn't have it. Um, we're going to go ahead and either remove it if we had it. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and take the screw out. Just put that screw in place with a magnet. Uh, next, we're going to go ahead and remove the base plate. We're going to put, I like to use this uh, paper, paper towel trick. I'm going to put a paper towel in there because I need to hold it in place and I'm going to remove that little spanner screw up on the top which holds the rewind in place. You can do that with either a ring uh, wrench like so uh, or a regular uh, spanner uh, wrench like this. Either way it will work. I'm going to go ahead and show you how to remove it with this tool. Turn it counterclockwise, and after you do that, you can just go ahead and remove that with a little piece of tape. Uh, tape trick works very well on these like this. Okay, so there it is. The next step, I'm going to go ahead and take the rewind knob off and you'll need a you'll need a wrench like so or a clamp in order to get that that retaining ring off which is in the inside which I'm working off now um, pretty much all like a uh, threads are normal and you can take it off with a counterclockwise motion except for the timer arm which is um, which is the other way, which you need to take off clockwise. Go ahead and take that off. Right, so now, now that side is done. So that's what the retaining ring looks like. So the next thing we're going to do is go ahead and take off all the shoes for put this back in. The next thing we're going to do is go ahead and take off the the cold shoe, and that just requires some regular four screws from the top. Uh, that screw all the way, um, the, the stopping screw, I guess, uh, for the flash, you don't need to take off. Uh, you only really need to take these four screws that are holding the cold shoe in place. And you'll see a little spring in there, a metal spring, uh, with your um, hot shoe contact, uh, cold shoe contact. All right. So the next thing is we'll go ahead and remove the speed dial. Okay, that was pretty easy. Comes off easily. And then finally, we're going to go ahead. Well, not finally. We're going to go ahead and, and take off the rewind lever. Once again, I like to cock it once and bring it back halfway to remove to remove this uh, lever arm uh, retaining screw because you could actually damage. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and release that. You can actually damage the uh, the mechanism inside if you try to wrench it. Some of these screws have never been taken off for service in quite a while, so what you can end up doing is damaging um, uh, a, a screw there and, and it inside a cylinder that holds the, um, the rewind uh, assembly. The, the final thing on an M2 is you need to take off this uh, retaining uh, screw all the way on the right side here with a little wrench. I'm going to use 
is a little piece of tape to go ahead and take the rest of that off. And the final step is we're going to go ahead and take off the uh, retaining screws on the uh, hot shoe sink. Take it off again. Um, this particular M2 has been modified. We've as you can see, it, it, it has a PC sink instead of the normal uh, sinks that these old M2s came with, um, which is a nice feature because it prevents you from poking your eyes out with one of those adapters, uh, which, is, which are really pains in the butt. Um, we're going to go ahead and take this part off, this sink, with just a little bit of motion with, the, with their hands and, and tape once again. The other one just came off freely, and we are ready to go. That's it. And now we can take off the top plate, gently uh, work each side off, and that's it. Now, one of the things I want to highlight, here's the, here's the plate. Um, you don't have to remove the eyelet. Um, one of the things I want to highlight on this particular camera is here's the rangefinder, uh, the front. Here's the rangefinder in the rear. What I've done is I've replaced the old style M2 um, eyelet piece, which kind of looks like that, uh, with a new eyelet piece, this particular one. It's about 25% bigger, I think, a little bit more than the old style, and it just gives you a better range in terms of being able to see the frame. Uh, the other improvement on this M2 is this cold shoe was outfitted with the PC uh, sink. Uh, there you go. Instead of the old bulb sinks. Um, that's much more convenient, and like I said, it prevents you from poking your eyes out. Uh, to do that, you need to go ahead and take this uh, flash assembly off. Uh, there's three pieces of wires uh, t that you have to resolder. Uh, and then add this uh, sink. Uh, you could probably buy that part for about $70 or so. And uh, that's it. Uh, the, well, one last thing I want to mention is if you intend to clean the rangefinder elements, the, the front element as well as the rear, you should use a microfiber. You can't use um, a, a piece of clean cloth because the elements themselves are very soft coated like all the old uh, old Leica elements on lenses like the uh, like the Simicron lenses so it'll scratch with even regular cloth so use a fine microfiber uh, you don't really need to use any kind of solvent um, if you use glass cleaner just make sure you take it back off with uh, just a, a, a puff of your breath and then wiping it down with the microfiber like so and uh, that'll be clean and ready to go. And uh, if you want to do more CLA work to this uh, in order to get the shutters to the right speed, then uh, you'll need to remove the rangefinder as well uh, to get to the other uh, compartments. That's it. Thank you.